here today to look into this Actron Air package unit, one of the uh, tri-capacity systems. Now, this is what this is that site, the old uh, Bradway unit where they had crazy ductwork. So they've come back to fix it again. It's, it's a hell of a lot better, obviously, but it's still not ideal. But regardless, um, we're here today to basically measure the static because I had increased the fan speed to compensate for that because it was tripping out on high pressure. I can't remember if I filled anything about it. If I did, it was it was a long time ago. If I did, I'll, I'll um, go back and put the footage up. Um, but if I didn't, <clears throat> basically, a quick run cap uh, rundown. We came here for the first time after they changed it. Someone else, another company had done it. They basically just reused the existing ductwork, reused the old uh, platform. We, I came here to log a whole bunch of high pressure faults uh, because the fan was sitting at like 75% or whatever it comes uh, from factory. I have to go back and double check that. Uh, and the static was incredibly high, like 400 pascals or something, right? So it was just struggling. Anyway, to compensate that until we came back and did this, I increased the fan speed. Now I'm back here today to obviously measure the static set the fan speed correctly based off our new um, measurements. But I've also come across one problem. They were saying it was freezing in there and um, it's, not a, it's not a particularly cold day. It's probably maybe like 17 degrees currently. We've got a call for three stages of cooling, but our smart temp here, you can see there, it says 12.6 degrees and it's on heating. So I did a quick test before I isolated it and I've got no, all for reversing valve. So I don't, this this is new. I don't know what we're going to try to work that out. But anyway, we're going to isolate this thing. Well, that's less than ideal. Um, fuck's sake. Uh, the Met guys were saying that there was a loud rattling noise coming from it, and there was. Um, so something tells me, as it a guess, we're going to open up that and potentially see a block of ice. <sighs> it's on a Friday too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, baby. There we go. How good. Um, all right, well, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna try to work out what's going wrong with this controller. So I've got to go through, cause this, these are obviously going to these terminals here, which is then what goes across to here. I'm fairly confident. Um, I'm gonna jump into, <coughs> I'm gonna jump into the service manual to remember what these are. Cause I can't remember where these ones go. Actually scrap that, I've just realized. <laughs> there we go, we'll try that again. They've gone into the wrong terminal. So that one says reversing valve heat, normally closed. That one says reversing valve slash heat. So yeah, I will still jump into the manual and just confirm that this is going to the right um, the right terminal here. Actually, they might even have it. Hey, there we go. Cool. I'll jump into that and make sure they're actually going to the right terminal, but I reckon once we've just switched that uh, that wire across to the right terminal, we'll be sweet, man. So, swapped it around to the right terminal, but honestly, it was really loose as well. Like, come on, man. It's not it's not hard, right? So, let's see if I get another turn out of this one, here. I don't know if you, that's coming across. Hold on. So, like, I'm not going crazy tight either. Like, that's just me just casually turning and it's still very loose, so like it's not, anyway, whatever. I'm gonna go through and tighten up, tighten up all of those. Um, as you can see, I've already done everything else on the 28th of the 8th, 2023, so this is how long this has been like this. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna go through, tighten that, <clears throat> put it all back together, we'll fire it up, um, actually. Well, to be fair, we're gonna run it in heat mode, so <laughs> maybe, maybe I don't need to worry about the ice, we'll see. Those are all tightened up now. Honestly, man, that is the perfect example of why you just test after you've done something. Even if you are, so we used a subcontractor Sparky for that. Just test, man. Even if you're a Sparky, you know that a air con, if it's running and heating, should be blowing hot air, right? It's not It's not rocket science, man, um, you know. Um, cool, I'm gonna put this back together. Uh, I'll, actually, let's pop around real quick. It's looking all right, eh? Maybe I'll just get a pump bottle up here. It's, it's yeah, we'll get a pump bottle up and um, get rid of that. Who am I kidding? It's running in heat mode. We're gonna be fine. Right, I've reapplied power because the first thing I want to do is basically reset that fan speed to where it comes from factory, which is 70.9. Then we'll remove all the filters, measure the static, uh, and go from there. Um, positive, I heard the reversing valves click this time. So let's just quickly check. All right, we have a reversing valve or a heat call now. So beautiful, let's uh, 
Let's jump into doing this. Uh, see if I can remember how to get there. Uh, all right, so. I'll... I didn't do that. I said it higher than that. That's interesting. <sighs> Maybe it resets after a certain amount of time. I'm not 100% sure. I might have to look through the manual with that actually, because yeah, that is different from what I set it to. Hmm. Anywho, uh, I'll quickly just check that I'm looking at the right one, because if that comes set at 68, the manual I said for the 700s. PKY 700T was 70.9, so not a massive difference, but I just want to measure the static with the correct fan that it comes from factory, uh, and then adjust from there. So yeah, give me one sec. Yeah, definitely looking at the right one, so I'm gonna go ahead and bump that up to... There we go. Heat one, that's positive. Um, now we should see this temp slowly rise. What I'm gonna do, I went ahead and drilled some holes because I'm gonna um, put probes and measure the static pressure. We'll do that first. We'll let this thing run on heating and see if that temp climbs. But uh, yeah, the fact that this now says heat one is always a positive. Like I said, with these tri-stage ones, they go, stage one is the smaller compressor. Then if it needs more capacity, we'll go to stage two, drop out the first compressor, and then stage three is both. Uh, but yeah, let's start measuring. I did actually find reference to like a battery uh, backup, which clearly is obviously failed uh, if we keep losing the settings that we're setting, but to replace a battery, in, you know, sorry, to replace that for the sake of a battery, because I don't know, I might, I might place a call in um, actually on air and suss out if it is something you can replace, if it is, we'll do it. If not, we'll just deal with it, honestly, because the only setting I've changed in there is the fan speed. I've taken that off and it's a hell of a lot better. So yeah, maybe something's just not tight or it's, yeah. I don't know, I'll, see, I'll play around with it and see what I can do. Temp's rising up. Uh, I'm just going over to turn it off because I don't want it to rise up too much because I want to test, obviously. Um, I'm still trying to deal with that rattling noise. One thing after it, after another, eh? All right, I'll put it back together. We'll see how we go. Um, on, there we go. Well, those results are really disappointing, aren't they? The main problem and the reason, okay, so originally, I can't remember if you remember, the ductwork went up like this and went up like this. So like, this is great, sure. But then you're dealing with a 90 and a 90 and that's not, I don't even know what's in the roof because you can't get in there. Like it's, anyway, we're gonna, we'll have to do what we can do to be honest here. I've got probes in now and I've got uh, the tablet set up currently on stage two. So I'll wait to do stage three uh, and then we'll see what we're dealing with. You know, if we're gonna go through all this effort to, to at least try to rectify, like why not just sort this out, you know what I mean? Just do the whole thing. I mean, I don't do the quoting and honestly, I've got, got no interest in never doing quoting, so. But anyway, it's, it, yeah, it is what it is at this point. I jump back into the uh, fan speed settings and, and when I kill power and come back, it resets but it does reset to 68%. But I've even gone into their, bugger, where's that gone? Their own manual, the one that I was looking at, and yeah, it says it comes set for 70.9, so you gotta love it when the uh, <laughs> installation and commissioning guide is wrong. Anyway, I'm gonna bump it back up to 70. Hey, we're back. All right, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll let that stabilize out anyway. Um, but yeah, we'll go in there and we'll set it to 70.9. Uh, we already know we've got crazy high static. I'm gonna see what I can do with what we're dealing with. 
um, and just try to make the best of a shit situation, eh? Um, that's kind of where it sits here. Uh, yeah, let's jump in and change that fan speed. I've only been running two stages for about, you know, two to three minutes, but you can already start to see temp split's gonna start climbing, head pressure's gonna start climbing. Found this located on the back of the uh, the panel, and this one says it's set for 68, but it's the same. Whatever. Uh, okay, so you reckon I can over it? So this thing's I can overcome, right? Obviously, just drop a fair bit of airflow. But 400 pascals of static, or 450 is what we're set to at 73 and a half. Um, we'll ignore this manual, I guess. The one that comes with the unit. Uh, if I go, what are we looking at at the moment? Head pressure looks not too bad considering. Uh, what's our return at the moment? Come on. Oh my god, this thing is. Nah. There we go. 19.4, okay, so we're still supply 40, it's not bad. Uh, what are we looking at? And yeah, it's not looking too bad, so 6.3 sub calling is pretty good. Sub calls are probably a. Oh, uh, actually, these guys allow for discharge temp, don't they? Uh, what have we got here? UK 700. In heating 15 to 25k, so that is within range. It's still climbing a touch. Keep an eye on it. We just lost stage one compressor because it is getting close to set point. What are we set to again? So we're at 20.3 room temp and we've got 20.5. For both of them, that's good. Uh, yeah, I'm obviously going to change that, but uh, what I want to do, uh, we've just lost both. That's probably, I mean, that's a good sign, right? It is a good sign that we're satisfying, but um, what I might do, uh, we'll test this thing in cooling. So we're going into cool three now. Um, and not looking too bad. Uh, temp splits. It's not looking too bad at the moment. Um, it's gone back to doing that uh, CFM thing again. A bit annoying. To be four and a half, sub cooling 8.5. So I'm seeing a lot better. They say it's going to be better in uh, cool mode anyway. <clears throat> um, I mean, I, I don't obviously have any reason to suspect why these things will be low. I mean, sometimes they can come charged from factory, but I, uh, I did the original, like, if you want to call it that, I guess. Um, just obviously go through Titan on Blue cool Connections. This whole thing was not there at the time, but I did a refrigerant check. Um, that's what we ended up obviously coming across the, uh, well, I mean, we knew there was going to be static problems, uh, static pressure problems, but anyway. Um, so I've got no reason to suspect that they're low for any reason. I'm more just, you know, just wanting to confirm really. Uh, and then also just check out temp splits across the coil, supply air temps and all that kind of jazz. So if I can get back there. These gloves sometimes just, yeah, don't seem to work. Uh, supply 7.6, turns coming down, which is great. Temp split 10.4. So, like I said, I did change the speed back to the max allowable, or at least the, the setting they recommend for 450 pascals of static, which is 73 and a half. That just means you drop, you know, 800, um, 800 uh, liters a second, but. What you gonna do? We'll keep monitoring. Not looking too bad. Um, yeah, I, I think <coughs> I think we've done what we can do here. Um, everything's looking pretty good, given obviously our high static pressure. Um, yeah, man. 
Sometimes you have fun with these things, eh? You think you're coming just to measure some static pressure, set some fan speeds. I think we're satisfying, cooling, which is nice. And then you end up dealing with a whole bunch of other things, which is, um, you know, the way that this trade goes sometimes. You gotta love it. Uh, yeah, we're about to satisfy, man. Just quickly throwed, throwed? <laughs> just quickly thrown my probes onto stage two, just to quickly check those as well. Um, system's gonna have to go back into heating because it's satisfied on cooling. Um, I have set the temperatures, what have we got? So cool to 22, heat to 20. I'll have to confirm if that's what they actually want, but um, anyway, I'm gonna get this thing to run in heating uh, and just kind of do a once over of this system as well. But outside of that, I don't think I'm gonna find anything. Um, honestly, you know, given the high static, we've, we've set the fan accordingly. Um, it's gonna be better anyway. I'm, I'm here every couple of months. So I'll be able to kind of periodically keep keep track of it. So one thing has actually popped up. So this, I'm on the second stage now, and this one I've noticed the, the head pressure does really start to creep up. Once it gets to about 54 degrees or 55 degrees, the, these ones have the, well, there you go, the, the advanced scroll temperature protection or whatever. So internally it can bypass, right? You can actually hear it happening. So hold on, we might see it physically here. Okay, so basically it's got like a, a bypass between the high and the low side, right, when the temperature gets too high. So that's obviously not ideal. So I'm just in the process now of packing up because uh, they've got probably 80 odd people gonna be here in about the next half an hour. So I kind of gotta get out of here. Um, so what I'm thinking is <clears throat> we just, we clearly just don't have the airflow to manage two stages running at the same time, right? So what I'm gonna suggest going forward is we actually just turn this into a two-stage system so one stage two stage no three stage right because we just when one stage is up and running they seem to operate okay obviously our supply air temps are down but if this thing is going to keep going to internal bypass every two minutes you know you multiply that by a week and a year and 10 years we're going to lose compressors right so um obviously that's going to reduce our capacity that's a decision that you know they can make i'm going to put that to them say this is what I suggest to do just for the longevity of the system but you know to be honest they're probably not gonna approve it anyway so anyway um, yeah I mean I don't, I don't really know what else I could do uh, if anyone's got a suggestion in the comments <laughs> outside of replacing the ductwork uh, definitely let me know uh, but outside of that I'm gonna finish the video here thank you for watching